Welcome back to another Noble Courses tutorial and in today's video we're going to be seeing how to create a round system in Roblox just like this. Now to get started I'm just going to clean up the map a bit but in the meantime while I fast forward this part go to view and make sure that you have the explorer and properties window open. We will need these for today. So the first thing I did, I'm going to remove the base plate and I will change the sky. Now for this part, I'm going to choose a purple sky. Go ahead and choose any sky that you want and make sure to delete the other sky. We just need one sky, otherwise Roblox will get confused which sky to choose and it will just choose one at random. You can delete the spawn location and we're going to add two parts. We're going to need the lobby spawn. So we'll go ahead and rename this part to lobby spawn. Make sure the L and the S are captured. If there are small letters, this will not work. Lobby spawn, anchor it, otherwise it will fall down. Click on scale, make it bigger. This is the lobby for the players. You can go ahead and change the colors and material for this, but just to keep the video short, I'll change this to green and let's make it out of grass. You can also add a barrier and all of that, it's up to you. What I'm also going to do, duplicate it one more time, make it a bit lower, just call this part, and make this black and make it wider. Just in case the players don't actually spawn on it, perhaps they'll spawn a bit further away. There we go. Now, don't forget game designers, we are lazy, so duplicate all of these move them to the other side now this part is where the players will actually play the game so i'll make it much bigger i'll also make this black part bigger just to change it up a bit black will be white green part hmm, let's do it orange and out of rocks something like this now we can't just have two lobby spawns so instead of a lobby spawn let's call this map spawn Capital M, map spawn. There we go. Make sure everything is anchored, otherwise they'll just fall down. And once we have this done, we're going to go down into replicated storage, click plus, and we're going to add a bool value. We're going to rename this to in rounds. And that means the player is either playing the game or they're in the lobby. So they're either playing or in the lobby waiting to play. Once that's done, click plus and we're going to add a string value. And let's rename this to status. Make sure all of these, these are just names, so they always start with a capital letter. Once that's all done, we're going to go down where we have teams. Let's click plus and we're going to add two teams. First team is the playing team. Second team is going to be the lobby. So these are the players that are waiting to play the game. In the properties window, you have team color. Change it from white to any color that you want. This will not make a difference. I'll change my lobby color to green. Playing will be orange. Matching these two parts over here. Now we only have a few more steps left. The next step is going to add the text. So we're going to go to starter GUI, click plus, and we're going to add a screen GUI. Let's rename the screen GUI to round GUI. Make sure it's a capital R and GUI is all capital. Click plus, and we're going to add a text label. Now for the text label, we are going to change the properties for this. We're going to scroll down till you find size. In our case, size is going to be 0 0.4, comma 0. And for the Y, it's going to be 0 0.1, comma 0. Drag it towards the middle. And keep scrolling down. Let's make it bold. We can change the font. I'm going to choose the luckiest guy. Keep scrolling down and instead of label, we're going to say waiting and a few dots. 
make it italic as well and just to make it bigger you all need to do is click text scaled now the color we won't change it from black to white and the background transparency i'll set it to one there we go. once that's all done click plus and add a local script now as always all of these scripts are going to be down in the description and in the comments of this video don't forget you can also join the discord which is completely for free and another thing almost 90 percent of you that watch the videos are not subscribed so if you're enjoying today's video and you want more videos just like this because that will help us create even more and bigger and better videos just like today so while you're at it click pause and subscribe and if you're at it as well give us a like let's move on to the next step we only have one more step left and let's go to server script service click plus and let's add a script now before we go to the next step i'm going to leave a link to reactive metal he gave me the inspiration for today's video and this model that I'm going to add will be in the description so you can all add it as well. I will leave the script in the description for it but go ahead feel free to f follow his channel as well and watch some of his videos. He's a very talented Roblox Studio creator. Let's go to the toolbox, my models, let's click OK. This will be in the description, you can all add it as well. Let's drag it to server script service. Now, before we go ahead and start, you can feel free to change this. The intermission is 10 seconds, I'll just wait 5 seconds. Round length, I'll do it 60 seconds. And one more thing over here. We have to fix this because there is a small mistake. So instead of if playing is equal equal to 0, it will check that there is nobody in the game. We're going to do it to minus 1. Make sure that you change this, otherwise at the end of the game it just says everyone has died. Now to test it, what we have to do is go to test, change it from one player to two players, you can do it up to eight players, but keep it two players because then you'll crash the, crash the game. I'll click on start, let's give it some time, and we can test it out with two players on the same device. Alright, game will start in two seconds, there we go, game will end in 57 seconds. Now if I reset my player, respawn, reset, player 2 has won the game, and then he also gets one point. And I'll go back into the lobby. So all seems to be working well. Now if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget you can join the Discord, which is completely for free. See you all again in the next one.